back to my channel as you see by the title and the thumbnail today i'm going to be giving you guys a story time on the time i thought i had friends so called friends and i say quotation marks because honestly that they weren't really my friends put it that way from the way they were acting and certain stuff which i'll get into i was actually not wanting to put this out there but i feel like you know what freak it you know um you guys could learn from it and yeah so anyways um i wanted to do this like a mukbang wise but honestly i don't have food and so i'm just gonna give you the rest of story time the rundown and everything so um yeah so we're gonna take it all the way back to middle school i'm in college right now so back in middle school um i had a friend since first grade um she was a good friend from there and so i made a friend in sixth grade which she was an okay friend i guess um middle school is where you just make friends because you're like in a higher grade you're not at elementary school anymore so middle school is like a bump up to like almost high school type of thing so yeah i was shy timid quiet didn't say anything not outgoing um the way I'll make friends is they'll talk to me first because I was very introvert. I was never the extrovert. I never liked to... Now think about it, I never liked to talk to people because of how shy I was before. Until now, I'm just antisocial. Like, I don't want to deal with nobody because everyone's just full of it, honestly. But back in middle school, I made friends. Um, Basically, in that middle school, in that area where I was going to school people go from the same come from the same elementary school or been going to school since kindergarten and then came it just like everyone fucking oh ooh. oh sorry <laughs> everyone knew each other and that's how it went so basically in that area everyone knew each other from freaking elementary school kindergarten and so on and so on so the so it's like a small area in a big city type of thing yeah, but anyways, um, throughout the grades, I was making friends. Sixth grade was good, sort of. There was like a little issue there. Seventh grade, it was good. Um, until it hit eighth grade. Eighth grade is when everything kind of like went down in a way because it's like, freak, like, damn, like, I thought you guys were my friends. I thought, I thought we were cool, you know. But comes to find out, we weren't cool. I don't know what the whole issue was. It's like, there was, I had a crush on a boy and then the other girl had the same crush on the same boy and then went on from there. And then this girl tried to make me jealous because the guy liked her, he didn't really like her. Like, let me tell you, I, I, I went to elementary school with this kid. So like, we we're cool, but you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, you know, she said, she said, or he said, she said. He, he said, he said, and stuff like that. I was all in middle school, all pure ajama in middle school. And I'm glad that I'm done with that. That's why when I say, I, if I were to go back to middle school and we start it and we do it, then I would and choose my friends wisely and actually hang out with people wisely because that was a whole chaos. And this is something I never told anybody. So yeah. So I was in middle school, I was minding my business. I used to rebuy notebooks because I didn't like the way I wrote or I just wanted to be organized. I was just in it for the school, you know? I like organization. I like markers and stuff like that to make it like look nice. So it could make me wanna like school, school. But back to eighth grade, eighth grade was like the last grade and that was where like I kinda sort of cracked out on my show a bit. Um, I had a big friend group. Um, one was um i made friend with in sixth grade and the rest were like from when i went to elementary school because we all went to the same elementary school so one situation was the fact that one friend tried to turn every all of my friends against me wish she accomplished that but honestly it kind of like hurt me because it's like damn i grew up with one with all of these people and it's like you're trying to turn them against me like what the hell is that like I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I don't know at this point. I just look at it as like, it's something stupid, honestly, like, you know, it's just stupid to look back at it. And so, that was one situation, this girl told another girl, 
one of my friends told this other friend something and this friend switched up my whole freaking words and told the other friend like hey this is what she said and it switched up the whole freaking thing that i said and then when i heard it i was like i didn't even say it like that like it's not ex how i said it and um they made me cry i cried but one friend actually stood by my side but that friend was actually friend with the other friend so they became close and stopped talking to me so everything's cool and then back then we were on kick and that's when i was like messaging like them like like oh what well, this person said this and this person said this so like what they're all lying they're a bunch of liars all of them don't get me wrong i have some faulties in it but like bro like the least you could do is just tell me the truth like well what's so hard about telling the truth you know um sorry if this video is like all over the place i don't remember timeline wise because it's a lot but um let's get back to the story let's get back to the story so another situation that's that's the first situation the second situation was the fact that we were in this after school program i used to always go to this after school program because i didn't want to go home or to i just didn't want to go <laughs> i wanted to stay in campus and it was pretty cool pretty chill so i hung out with this one friend all the time she started going and so the other friend started going to the after school program it was all cool chill whatever and then you're not supposed to go off campus to get food and come back on campus i was like not allowed but they went ahead and went to go get like fries or something and then once each of them got me alone so the first friend that i used to hang out with that started going to the after school program before the other girl she would tell me oh she said these things about you she said you listen to kids bop and disney and this and that like what is wrong with listening to that like i don't like okay but not the point here the point is then the other girl came to me when i was alone with her she told me oh well, she said this I, I, I think i told her I'm not sure, but I, she was like, oh, this, she said this and this about you, this and that. So basically, they were both talking crap about me behind my back. And they think that if one person told me something, the other person tells me. It just adds up at that point. And so, my friend from freaking elementary school that was supposed to be my ride or die on my day one, she switched up on me because the other girl switched up on me. So, like, it was a whole domino effect like if one person switches up with me the other person switches up with me and i was like left with nobody but i still had other backup friends which is fine and yeah those were much better people than these girls girls are just full of, full of drama full of drama and so afterwards we graduated and oh the third situation sorry i'm getting all i'm getting all trapped after that, um, the third situation was I had a crush on a boy. Okay, I had a crush on a boy. And this girl just automatically just comes out of freaking nowhere saying, oh yeah, I have a crush on him too. And I was like, what? Like, I was like, okay, then oh, freak. Like, I'm just gonna get rid of those crush feelings and whatever, I'm not, I don't have a crush. And I told her, I'm like, hey, I don't have a crush on him no more. She's like, oh no, you go have him. I don't have a crush. What? That's the part that caught me off guard. I was like, what the hell? Like, And then I had a crush on this other boy. Because this other boy. I, I I still have his ID. School ID. It's somewhere in my backpack. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyways. um, I had a crush on him. Because he was cool. He was like chill, you know. And um, we we'll always like play around and stuff like that. And then this other girl had a crush on him. And then the, the friend. The other girl is just pure girl, right? This other girl told my day one friend that I had a crush on him. And she got mad at me. Because I don't know what the hell that one girl said to her that made it seem like, oh, I don't want to talk to her or anything else like that. Like... So basically, there's so many situations that happen in middle school that I don't want to go back to it. Like, it don't. And afterwards, we just, graduation happened. We stopped talking. 
um, I moved. I still had contact with one friend. And they stopped talking after I moved again. Stood in that area again for like a couple weeks, two weeks max. And then I moved again and lost contact with everybody. So basically the moral of the story is that never trust anybody because everyone still talks crap behind your back and yeah. This was a short story time, but like there's not much to go off of it. It's just the fact that not a lot of people are gonna be your friend. Like especially in middle school. That era for me wasn't like my best era. It was more like that's where I was like getting to know people more in depth and finding out that Honestly, I never got to a point where I was like, am I the problem? Am I the issue? Or what the hell? Because everyone just, that girl just accomplished a whole freaking thing to turn everyone against me. And so I was basically, basically alone. I was able to text one of my friends, but like, other than that, she basically took away all of my friends and she was the queen bee of it all. So, um, yeah, I... I I don't know yeah that's just that's just sad because honestly <sighs> this is something i don't want to talk about but like i'd rather put it out there than not because then it'll give you guys a glimpse of like oh crap like i think my audience is like around the young kid area so um yeah I'll give you guys a heads up this is a time where i thought i had friends actual friends that actually cared about me actually done stuff with me no i at middle school like how can i say it i thought i had friends i thought I, everyone was my friend but i guess not because of certain small little dumb situations little stuff that is so stupid now that i look at it so um yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and tap that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.